Hello. Mm. And today we want to talk about Indian food in Korea. Yeah, really cool. Mm. Very. Um, I never try original Indian food. I don't know how how similar they are mm. to compare what we had in Korea. Yeah, it was one of the cool things while we were dating. Uh, you know, we lived in different states and yeah, just yeah, pretty far apart always. So I always looked forward to taking Yajing out to Indian food. And what you're about to see is the very first time I got to do that in Seoul. Yeah, let's go to see. So where are we? We're at the Indian Center. Yeah. Shanti. Shanti. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We just made our order. Mm -hmm. So what did we order? Bread. <laughs> Some uh, garlic naan bread. Garlic naan bread. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have the... I have the chicken korma. Mm -hmm. Chicken uh, curry, and mm. we have lamb curry. Yeah, yours is going to be a little more savory, where mine will have some yeah. spice to it. Yeah, and also we have tried the, the chicken. Yeah, tenderi chicken. Tenderi chicken, and you have here, I have the mango lassi. Yeah, I'm excited. You Me get too. to try some uh, some new kinds of food. It's the first time I try Indian food. And we also can't forget the saffron rice. Oh, saffron rice, that's right. Yeah. Have you ever had saffron rice? No. Everything we just ordered is very first time. Oh my I heard. God. I can't wait. Me too. Awesome. Me too. We have the tandoori chicken here and the kingfisher. Let's see how it is. Mm -hmm. This. It's so cool. Yeah, this is just popping with scent. It smells so incredibly tasty. Oh, and here's your lassi. Oh, kasamida. So pretty. Yeah. So lassi is a yogurt drink in India. And you got the mango? Yes. Mango lassi. Gotta take a photo. You know what? Hmm. This is very traditional Chinese yogurt to me. Really? But Chinese, traditional Chinese yogurt is much thicker. Oh. Much thicker. It's like a very thick. Mm. Yogurt. But this is very thin. Uh, yeah. How does it taste? Pretty natural color, uh, natural flavor. I don't taste extra. Sugar from it mm. because I think the mango is sour too. Mm. But the yogurt is very strong, mm. kind of cover the mango's flavor. Mm. I like it. You want awesome. to try? Yeah, I'd love to. Oh, that's delicious. Really good. Really, really good. Look at that. Oh my goodness. I haven't had tenderi chicken in a while. Let's see how Yajing likes it her first time. Just pull some chicken out. Spicy. Mm -hmm. I can taste some other spice. Mm. I can. I don't know how to say it in English. Mm. Spice also Chinese music. Mm. Awesome. Just waiting on the rice, but oh my goodness, that garlic naan, huge piece of bread. We have the mutton, the lamb. Chicken, 
And then we're just waiting on that sweet, sweet saffron rice. And the saffron rice has arrived. So now we have our full Indian dinner. The first time Yajing has ever had an Indian dinner. And I got my Kingfisher beer, which is Indian beer. All right, so we definitely already started eating. We couldn't wait. But what are your first thoughts of Indian food for the first time? Very strong curry, like I said earlier, their curry is much thicker than the Asians, like Japanese or Chinese. They are, they are much thinner. Mm -hmm. But theirs, look at them. This is their curry. So thick. Mm. And uh, this bread is very, nice. very crispy and fresh. Mm -hmm. Actually, uh, it surprised me from the rice. Mm. After you taught me how to eat it, mm -hmm. it's very delicious. Mm. Even the rice is yellow color. Yeah. So what do you think? What are some curry flavor in the rice? It's the saffron. Yeah. If you look, you see the little saffron pieces in here? Oh. They're red. They make the whole rice yellow. So, we have the naan bread, garlic naan, spicy mutton curry, and saffron rice. This is how you do it. So incredibly flavorful. The curry spicy, thick, the garlic naan really adds flavor. And on top of that, there's cashews in the saffron rice, so you really can't beat it. <laughs> I'm so happy we're getting to come to an Indian restaurant for the first time, and I love it. I was sharing with Yaji the first time I ever actually ate Indian food was in Korea in uh, Itaewon in 2003. So it's definitely very nostalgic coming back and sharing Yaji's first experience eating Indian food as well. So, yeah, we'll share our final thoughts soon, but loving it. Absolutely delicious. So, we have completely finished this feast. I have to know, what are your final thoughts on Indian food? I like everything, and uh, everything surprised me. Mm -hmm. um, they do have similar food to what we have. They just make a different shape and the size. Mm -hmm. um, of course, the curry is not our original Chinese food, but definitely we will learn from Indian. Mm -hmm. the, the chicken fries, mm -hmm. the wings surprised me. Mm -hmm. I thought that it's gonna be spicy. Mm -hmm. And actually it's more curry to me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I really like the strong curry. Mm -hmm. And the uh, curry curry surprised me too because I thought it maybe just uh, salty, but it's not salty, it's sweet more and more creamy. Mm -hmm. I like it. Yeah. It's so packed with flavor. Mm. Yeah. And I like the rice too. Absolutely. Yeah. I'm so happy you got to try it, and it sounds like we're gonna try it again in the future. Oh, someone has a food coma. Oh. Thanks, everyone. Thank you, and we'll see you next time. Um, yeah, so really, really enjoyed that meal. 
Uh, you know, I mentioned in the video, the first time I ever had Indian food was when I lived in Korea back in 2003 um, in Itaewon. So it was kind of fitting that Ya Jing's first time eating Indian food was in Korea as well. Uh, and really, really tasty. Yeah, very tasty, very strong flavor. Mm. Curry and uh, I have to mention again the the nun. Yeah, it's so big. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, when um, when before they put on the table to us, they put, and I people uh, Peter keep telling me says, oh it's big, it's big. I just like okay, it's big. I you know, but I never have any measure in my mind oh, it's gonna be that big <laughs> yeah naan bread is yeah one of my favorites and you know here in the states uh if i go to like a grocery store sometimes i see they sell naan bread mm. and it's just like this little tiny thing and mm. it's not fresh looking mm. compared to what we ate in this video um yeah for me i enjoy really freshly made naan bread mm. uh, so it was Really, really a treat. I haven't had naan bread like this in many years. This is fresh one, right? Yeah, very absolutely. warm when they bring it on the table. Mm -hmm. Very warm and uh, yeah, learn how the way how Indian eat food, use mm -hmm. their hands, mm -hmm. you know, mix the stuff. It's good. Yeah, I really enjoyed it, and you know, just having those flavors again. I don't eat Indian food too often here oh. in the U.S. Um, in Boston, I would eat it from time to time. Uh, but yeah, I haven't had it in a few years, so it was a nice treat to kind of have it in Korea with Ya Jing for the first time. And I have to mention, it's a nice restaurant as well. Um, it's on the second floor of this building at Hongdae, so it's a little hidden. Um, but I do really like the paintings um, that are all around. And I have to mention my favorite thing, uh, the saffron rice. I'm a huge fan of saffron rice. Uh, um, and I really can't wait to cook some for Ya Jing because, yeah, saffron rice is one of my favorite kinds of rice. Yeah, it tastes very uh, natural and, mm. and uh, healthy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And the color is very interesting. It's yellow. It's a very light yellow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. Um, yeah, just a really great time. I got to try Kingfisher beer for the first time. I know it's really popular in India, so I've heard about it. Uh, but yeah, I actually got to try it and also very enjoyable. Uh, and then, yeah, at the end of the video, I just shared a clip of, yeah, at nighttime in Seoul, I saw uh, the style Nanda uh, that was close to where we were staying. And yeah, somebody was walking through disinfecting the store. And actually, as we stayed in Korea longer, um, at nighttime, uh, after businesses closed, I would see other businesses getting disinfected like that, where somebody would just walk around with this spray canister and literally spray everything in the business, um, which was really interesting. I think it's very, um, it shows very responsible, how responsible they are, mm -hmm. you know? And because due to the pandemic still mm -hmm. going on, yeah, we need to protect ourselves and the other people. Yeah. I think this is very good. Yeah, and we had actually been in that style, Nanda. Uh, ya Jing bought some mm. clothes there. So I actually filmed that for her. I went ahead and included it in this video. But I remember going back into the Airbnb that night and just showing her, like, look, they actually clean that store, like, aggressively when, yeah. when uh, you know, it closes. So that was really interesting to see as well. How you feel your knees. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, actually it's rare that it happens to me. Um, actually recently it happened to me again, but if you noticed I almost fell um, and just landed, almost landed on my face because uh, my knee gave out on me um, while I was walking down those stairs. And yeah, I think that was the first time you actually ever saw it. But yeah, the uh, the left knee just kind of collapsed, and I was like, oh no, because uh, I never see it. Because every time I always walk on the stairs, I always walk in front of him. Mm -hmm. I never see how it happened to him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I glad we film a lot of things, so I can see something <laughs> I'm never able to see it. Yeah, <laughs> that's cool. Yeah, it was uh, definitely embarrassing, but 
It is what it is. Um, yeah, it actually, but he didn't fall. Yeah, I didn't fall. I didn't fall. But yeah, it, it was there at the end, towards the end of the video. If you uh, didn't catch it, but yeah, yeah, I caught myself. So I enjoyed it. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah she takes great pleasure in these things. <laughs> but that's okay. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> but how about you? Um, oh. Yeah. Have you had Indian food before? And if you have, like, what's your favorite kind of Indian food? I'm really curious. I love like the really spicy uh, mutton, mm. um, the lamb meat, insane. And they did it really well at this restaurant. Mm. Um, Yajing went a little safer with something not so spicy, mm. um, the chicken curry. Uh, but I really enjoyed that also. And I think tandoori chicken is just a staple. Mm. Um, but I'm, I'm really curious what you've had and maybe give me some suggestions. Uh, yeah, have you ever had Indian food in Korea before? And uh, where is it? Let us know, please comment below. Absolutely. And thanks again for stopping by the channel. You know, we really appreciate it. And it's hard to believe we're almost halfway through the year now. Mm. Uh, but we're really thankful that you're here with us and checking out our videos. So uh, thanks again for staying till the end. And as always, we will see you very soon in our next video. Yeah. Take care. Thanks everyone. Bye.